Hey, it's Zach with Cascade Refining. I'm uh, making this video today because we've had a few customers that have been confused by the difference between penny weights and grams. Um, so I'm going to go over that today and see if I, I can clarify things for you. Okay, so here we've got a one ounce silver round. You can see it says one troy ounce on it here. Now, most rounds will weigh slightly more than a troy ounce just to account for any loss. It's better for a, a coin to be heavier than what it says than lighter than what it says. So if we set the scale here to ounces troy, OZT, you can see it weighs 1.005 troy ounces. Now if we change the scale into penny weight, DWT is the abbreviation for penny weight, and you can see it weighs, there's 20 penny weight per troy ounce, and then in grams there's 31, this weighs 31.2, there's 31.1 grams in a troy ounce. So you can see that there's less penny weight per ounce than there is grams, which makes the penny weight weigh, it, and it weighs about 1.555 grams. So we do have some customers that come to us and say, hey, this company says that they're paying more than you are, and you know, it's, I'm always slightly surprised by that because we have pretty competitive prices. And my next question is always, well, are they paying in grams or penny weights? And if they say, well, penny weights, then we have, I go through the math with the, the customer and, and show them the difference. So um, let's go to the calculator here. Okay, so recently I had a customer come in and say that they got a price from another gold buyer um, and they were paying $22 per penny weight, but we were only paying $16.80 per gram for 14 carat. Um, now this customer had uh, five penny weights, so if we first we need to figure out how many grams are in a penny weight. So we take 31.1035 grams, that's per troy ounce, divided by 20 penny weight per troy ounce, gets us 1.555175 grams per penny weight. So we can just abbreviate that to 1.555. So if they had five penny weight, that means they have, so that we can just round up to 7.8 grams. So at five penny weight, and they were paying $22 per penny weight, that means they offered them $110 for their item. Now at 7.8 grams and $16.80 per gram, and that's based on um, $1,269 per troy ounce of gold, we'd pay them $131.04. Now that's, you know, $21 more than what they were offered, but the the penny weight is more appealing at first glance because $22 is quite a bit more than, than $16.80. Now unfortunately that kind of thing happens all too often, uh, so we try to be as transparent as possible uh, in regards to, you know, the formulas and the amount we're paying you for your items. Uh, for example, we'll start you out, if you have less than 20 grams of gold carat scrap, we'll start you out at 75% of the gold value. Once you get above 20 grams, we bump you up to 80%. Over 100 grams, you go up to 85%. And then even on um, some coins, we'll pay 90% or even 93%. Um, and then other coins, we even pay more than spot, like a gold eagle or a gold crew grand. Uh, we'll pay more than the gold value. And that's because we make our money um, reselling those coins at more than the gold value, which um, allows us to buy them from you at a very, a very good price.